So I'm outside the original Berry Brothers in Red. It used to be a coffee merchant. Ended up being one of the oldest operating wine merchants in the world. <laughs> I'm Edwin Dublin, um, shop manager for Berry Brothers and Rubs here in St. James's. So here you are, where it all began back in 1698. Berry Brothers and Rubs opened, not selling wines and spirits like it's done today, but actually selling coffee, tea, spices, tobacco, which are weighed on these, but still original scales. Yeah. Okay. Recognise that name at the yeah. top. What's cool about Berry Brothers and Rudd is that unlike 67 Pall Mall, anyone can walk in the door and see their amazing wines. Plus, there's a lot more below the surface. We stumbled into this room down here. What are you doing down here in the cellar? Tonight we're digging deeper in Bordeaux. And we're going to compare and contrast the flavours and tastes of all these different wines. We're going to taste them blind to begin. Becky explained they do a lot of educational programming and it looks like a lot of fun. Tobacco, sort of Virginia tobacco. And apparently they have their own crazy private collection underground too. This is a tiny part of the Berries and Rudd's family cellar. So these are wines that they've been buying, well, it's possible to say back to the 19th century, for current and future drinking. I didn't even show you all the footage because there was too much. I was not expecting to see that at Berry Brothers. 